Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So we are back at a new location and uh, this would be probably the last location for this entire trip of ours to Vijapur. So here uh, we are at Shivgiri. Shivgiri is a theme park uh, that is uh, made about five to seven years ago as far as I know. Uh, and there are a lot of idols which are made out of uh, plaster of Paris and a theme garden. So we will have a look at that and uh, this closes at 7 so we will just accordingly move away with that that's the entrance and you see a couple of uh, stalls here to get some popcorn water and some toys since this is amusement or a theme park so you see a lot of kids coming, hence uh, they have made. So here is a statue of peaceful Buddha that you can look at. Followed by two more people, I'm not sure who are these. No boats also here. So this entire park is with such idols and things but the main attraction of this place is the Shiva statue that's there so I guess this is the auditorium here named after the mother the name of this auditorium in Canada is Awa There's supposed to be a waterfall uh, which is not functioning now. So a similar waterfall that can be seen around in Krishna Sagara Dam that is KRS. Oh, there is some amusement park here. You have kids play area. You have a mini train. A jumping jack and a few more a small giant feed a toro toro a couple of things which are there which kids can enjoy once they come here so this is the shivgiri railway station that's the amusement park there This drinking facility, drinking water facility here and a pathway. There you get a glimpse of the Shiva statue there. So we're just heading there. Okay, there are here are some more statues. So do not touch uh, the statues here. So here is a very nice Radha Krishna. They have created a Nanda Gokula Krishna playing the flute and Radha listening to him followed by a few cows and up here looks like a Chinese monastery but no it is a temple of I guess Madurga Yes, it's a temple of Madhuka. But built in Chinese style or a Japanese style. Whatever is right. It's a well-kept garden since we are coming in from the post-COVID and people were not around, but they have tried and maintain it nice. But it's a maintained greenery considering 
the temperatures around here. So let's go ahead. So that's the view of the huge Lord Shiva there. There's a huge statue there and at the base you have the actual temple. This is so magnificent. This should be around 60-70 feet tall. Let's go around. So Siva sitting on the Kailasa Parvata there. So they have placed a Shivlinga there where they do the actual puja. Okay, so here is some information. So long back I had come here uh, and as far as I remember the story uh, on how this was built is by the architects who came in from Bangalore and the artisans or the workers to build this came from Shimoga and that's how the construction of this magnificent sculpture was done. Look at that, every detail right from the snake there on his arms to the hair and to the skin of the tiger that Lord Shiva wears to the Kailasa Parvata that he's sitting on. Everything, every detail has been captured. Making it in a minuscule way is understandable, but then such a humongous statue and making it proportionate is some real art there. It's crazy. Wow, including the nails have been captured. I don't know if you're able to see it. I'll just zoom it for you and look at that. Even the nails have been sculptured so, so nicely. That's actually a brilliant piece of art. So this place uh, opens at seven and closes at seven. And there's a ticket of uh, 15 rupees per head. And though there is a temple here, but definitely this is not a place which could be called as a devotional place. But then it's more of a place where you can come with family, spend them some time Kids have the amusement park here and elders can enjoy their evenings or mornings staying here. So there is a zoo also kind of maintained here. You cannot technically call it zoo but then there are some peacocks which have been kept here is what the security guard told us and let's have a look at that. So here you also have some statues of giraffe. This is just next to the Shiva temple that we were. We were just around there in that area and from here we came and we are now heading to Peacock. So here is again a Devi temple. I guess this should be Parvati temple here. So 
a similar kind of a temple that was there a similar architecture japanese chinese or whatever you call it okay there there is a cage that they have built there sun is just looking beautiful i don't know if you are able to see that but through let's check out if we can get view of that setting sun he is just looking like a cherry oh there are ducks and peacocks there do we get a view yes we get a view of sun setting here oh brilliant this is just awesome look at that this is a brilliant view so there is a peacock look at that green color t-shirt Oh sorry that's Pratap. This is dinosaur. <laughs> okay this is dinosaur. So oh, there you go. Here there are some ducks and roosters. Here are two little kittens. Meow. Click cats rather. Oh, I don't know if they're wild cats or what kind of cats. No signage or anything. And here we have kabutar. Ja, ja, ja. The kabutar from Mene Perkia. I found it. <laughs> So some seating area is created here. Uh, they have put nice neem trees, and each of under each of the trees that you see is one katte, and you can come here, sit, chit chat, and then get back. So here is some more space uh, that you can see around. But trust me, this is a place to come and relax. We were so tired since morning because of the heat, and we covered a couple of places around, right? But then once we came here, uh, this is just peaceful. The sun has just set, right? And uh, we are here at the right time. This closes at seven. The temperature is getting down here, right? And this lawn and some trees around. is throwing some cool breeze and it's amazing that's a nandi there which generally is in front of shiva so that nandi is actually in front of the humongous structure that you saw which was the shiva structure there let's move ahead and go closer to nandi statue post which the exit also is the same way is what i can understand so there is a pay and use toilet uh they also i guess uh, give dasoha which is uh they give food here if you come at lunch time and we already saw the rides and amusement park for the kids there so that's all in that area there where we are going here i guess now they are constructing something not sure what's that uh so there is a half built structure there which is again triangular in shape so maybe 
if someone of you guys visit here let me know what was built once it's completed so let's go ahead so there is some nice landscaping done here so walkway and the breeze is nice and cool which is taking away the tiredness that we had Here you go. This is the Nandi statue here. You can see even Nandi is as large as the same Shiva there. And this is Nandi and that is the Shiva. And they have also created a garden right in front, a nice piece of or a patch of lawn and a garden here. There is no access to this. Good there is no access, hence it's looking pretty nice. Otherwise, people definitely would have spoiled it. This is just a ravishing evening. So this is the place where they give prasada between 12.30 to 2 p.m. So if you visit Shivgiri amongst between 12.30 to 2, you can even come and have your lunch here. I'm not sure what is given, but typically the soha would be kind of a curry, rice or uh, the porridge of uh, the jowar. Either of the things are given in Tasoha generally, as far as I know. That's the amusement park again. And this is where we come. We started from there and we are back here. I hope you have enjoyed this entire series. Probably this would be the last location that we are in. And we are heading back to Bangalore uh, by tomorrow. We are super tired for the day. We had a heavy lunch at the hotel and that made us become more tired and if you've watched this video till here do not forget to click on the like button if you're new to the channel don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the bell icon and please do not forget to share my channel details with your friends and family i hope you're enjoying traveling with me and anything that you want to know just drop a comment and i will get back to you as soon as I can. Thanks for watching.